last time we was where the uh, we are studying about the health system in india i share some uh, photos uh, in the like previous lecture uh, i think you get it on um, um, whatsapp group okay okay so uh, both are you want to be right or uh, want to first to understand it hi sir would like to make a note or first would like to understand a topic sir uh, actually this is my first class so uh, i have no idea about uh, what can i do no it's up to you it's up both uh, it's up to you both uh, it's up to both of you if you want to write uh, uh you can wrote it you okay. can make your note uh if you want to just listen uh, you can tell me then uh, with this with this team i can uh, start the lecture okay 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 so uh, okay just uh, uh i'm dictating you and you can wrote it in a short note which is be helpful for you uh, to understand and in exam you, uh, this top this questions you can uh write in uh, with uh, with good elaboration okay with long elaboration so in the short i would like to uh, uh, make a note and understand so first thing <clears throat> the health system in india there is a two main bodies in in, uh, in india for the health system one is the central and second is the state level okay okay in uh, in central uh, first is the union is uh, sent in central first is the Union Minister of Health and Welfare, uh, Family Welfare. I think you are aware about that ministry. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the uh, uh, second thing in is is that uh, Director General of Health Service. Why is it? So two main things. Directorate General of Health Services. You. you wrote like that first one is the central in central there is a two main unit which is working for the health it is first one is the union ministry of health and welfare the second yes. one is the directorate general of uh, health services okay yes third one is the central council of health first one is union at the central level there is a three organization three thing, uh, three main uh, main uh, main, uh, main main things first one it is by union ministry of health, health and family welfare second one is the directorate general of health services third one is the central council of health first you just write the headings then i uh, i will dictate in a small in short notes you can wrote it because it will be helpful in your exam while you are, when you get this question because in exam you can't uh mm, like wrote uh, whole book na so in the short and main things i will dictate you you can wrote down and okay. whatever you not understand just ask me i will elaborate the things in second uh, it is a second level in india the second level is as a state level health system in india is uh, organized by the second one in state level in state level first is the state ministry of health second is the state health directorate the second uh, level this is a common second level Uh, at the state of the first one is the state excuse me sir sir this uh, is my first class which is the topic this one actually uh, the last time i i was started with the uh, definitions and those all things but as per your question paper this question is coming in a uh, big question and a small question and this topic has a lot of questions uh, uh, like in a small uh, in like for in four marks in seven marks a lot so i would like to uh, make a note for you you can write the things in a in a short in in a short notes also in a um, uh, long notes also and whatever you will not understand i will try to elaborate the total thing 
but in uh-huh. as per exam that's like for example if the question is came for 15 uh, 10 to 7 marks i don't know uh, what is the like big questions if there is some for the big question the big question is come will come in form of like that please describe the health system in india okay so here mm-hmm. you should have to wrote each and everything and in uh, so if there is first you put the all headings ki uh, what level and what is this uh, what is the system of healthcare in india so it will be effective for the examiner for you also and in later if you uh, wrote in a short then also it, it uh, also will get a good um, good mark okay so yeah. firstly i would like to tell you the headings because the headings are important in the written exam if you put the headings in your copy the examiner will understand yeah you know the things uh, very well So first one is the in either central, second is the state. In the state, there is the two things: state, uh, state ministry of health, and the uh, second one is the state health director. And third level is, is come into the at the level of district level. Okay. Mm-hmm. In district levels, there is a coming uh, four five things. First one is the sub division, the cities, community development block. municipalities and corporation villages and panchayat so please uh, can you please to district level five things are six things are working at the district level first one is the sub division second is the tehsil third one is the community development block fourth is a municipalities and corporation fifth one is the villages and sixth one is the panchayat so uh, you can wrote it at the first level at the at the center and then heading is the union ministry of health and welfare welfare so uh, you can you anyone can tell me who is the who is running the ministry of health and welfare hello hello ma'am wo login aapka kya naam hai invalid bata raha tha to maine class aise Union Ministry of Health and Welfare is coming in which uh, uh, ministry in India? Home Affairs. Okay, okay. What is the basic function of the home, um, like uh, health ministry? The uh, health policies in India. what is sir um, like all government programs relating to family planning in india mm. yes yes sir so the first point in is that it is a organization organization means you can uh, just wrote uh, the welfare of uh, ministry of welfare and health is uh, governed by is under uh, home ministry and uh, here uh, the health ministry take all the decisions at the central level 
because in the state there is a different different thing a different uh, state minister okay so all the the work is same like for uh, uh, to control the disease uh, to make a, pol a good policy health policy for the uh, uh, people uh, and uh, to discuss the issues if uh, if something developed in india uh, 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 develop in country uh, pandemic or uh, are endemic so all the things is done by uh, uh, governed by uh, discussed by in ministry like for example when corona is came uh, the every even the it, it was a crucial uh, uh, crucial situation and uh, is as per our law there is a law every health department is directly controlled by the health ministry of india though there was no rule for state government so every person every uh, district um, manager uh, magistrate and uh, the, uh, like uh, other health services they are all directly controlled by uh, this uh, by uh, home ministry uh, like, like, by home ministry and health ministry okay Are you understood, or I should have explained something? Hello. 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 Sir. Understood, or I should have to yes, uh, explain because when the question is came, now you just you write four or five things in your general knowledge. So just you wrote the heading and uh, describe what is the role of health ministry in. Mm. At the, in in his system at the center level, okay. Okay, okay sir. Because basic the uh, in mm, main main things what you should write at that level of uh, I will explain you after some time. Uh, like PhD level, PhD level, last lecture I took uh, I mm, last <clears throat> last time I explained this, but uh, after getting time I will re-explain the thing. Okay. Mm. And the third is Central Council of Health. What do you understand about the Central Council of Health? Okay, wrote it. Central Council of India. It's, uh, uh, Central Council of Health is uh, uh, its function. First function is to consider and recommend broad outlets of policies in health. Sir, please repeat, sir. First, first function of Central Council of Health, it is to consider and recommend it policy in policy in health the second function of central council of uh, health is, is Legalization of medical and public health matters. The third one is to make recommendation to the central government
रिगार्डिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अवेलेबल ग्रांट तो इन थ्री फर्स्ट फंक्शन सेंट्रल काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया कंसिडर एंड रिकमेंड द ब्रॉड आउटलाइन ऑफ पॉलिसी लाइक विच पॉलिसी इज मेक बाई द गवर्नमेंट इट शुड बी ओके टू मेक रिकमेंडेशन टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट रिगार्डिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अवेलेबल ग्रांट फॉर हेल्थ आई एक्सप्लेन दिस so if there is any policy the central council should be uh, 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 like uh, legal uh, should should be recommended to the government the th the second part uh, central council is the uh, council who is the uh, legalize the uh, if some uh, legalize the uh, things like without legalization in the here word legalization is recommended for because if the government is make any policy uh, it will go into the संसद फॉर द अप्रूवल ऑफ आवर लेजिस्लेटर ओके तो द काउंसिल इज मेक हिज ड्राफ्ट एंड इट सेंट टू द आवर लीडर्स दे विल एक्सेप्टेड ओके दे विल अंडरस्टैंड ओके दिस पॉलिसी इज गुड फॉर द कंट्री सो दे विल एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज यू एट द टाइम ऑफ राज्यसभा एंड विधानसभा यू कैन लिसन ना वेन द आवर लीडर आर डिस्कसिंग इन एनी काइंड ऑफ द बिल सो इफ इज न्यू बिल इज कम इन टू द हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट it should be called, uh, the central council mm, they will make uh, they will make the uh, policy and they will send to our leg uh, legislators they will then after that it will be approved by the cabinet and then the policy will be legalized so this uh, this is the uh, this uh, it was one of the most, uh, main function of council of uh, um, uh, health council of india the third part to make recommendation to central government regarding distribution of available grant it is mean like uh, uh, for example if there is a 100 rupees and central want to be distribute if some uh, like for example if the central government have 5 hundred uh, uh, oxygen cylinder hundred uh, uh, ventilator hundred something so if the things want to be distributed this policy is make by Uh, uh, which state will get how much ventilator, how much money, how much uh, 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 oxygen cylinder? It will be decided by the Council of India. Okay, so they will recommend the state uh, central government. That, for example, Delhi needs uh, uh, the Delhi government said that we want to uh, hundred hundred uh, oxygen cylinder, but the council will review. the uh, their demands and then after that they will recommend to the central government no uh, in delhi it is only recommended uh, 10 or 12 oxygen cylinder then uh, uh, central government distribute the uh, you know, cylinders or things or money to the state government so in a, in a short example i would like to explain ki central council is a uh, is a council who is distributing the money instruments uh, aid which is required for the state uh, state government for the health it is uh, it is done by council of india understood this thing yes sir we will shivam mehra good morning shivam duty pe ho abhi शिवम सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर यस सर ड्यूटी से ड्यूटी से लेकर ले रहे हो हाँ जी सर मैं मोटी मोटी चीजें से बता रहा हूँ ठीक है क्योंकि वो मेडिकल नॉर्म में थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस हो जाता है ना आपको तो वैसे भी नहीं समझ में आएगा तो आप मुझे मैसेज कर देना बाद में ठीक है ठीक है सर ठीक है फॉर श्योर
the second is state level in a state health administration you can write the first uh, first heading it is a state ministry of health state ministry uh, who is governed by state ministry uh, like state uh, state ministry of health is under uh, home in the state who is headed the state state ministry of health in the state it is not under the any home ministry in state it's, there is a separate uh, ministry in state level so it's called the state minister who is look out all the health status health uh, he any health policies uh, is there is a any uh, uh, some pandemic pandemic it, uh, it should be looked by state minister so uh, like central minister it is come under the home uh, it has come into the ho uh, home ministry but in state there is a separate state minister and the second one is the state health director who is the head of state uh, state director state health director hello hello yes tell me sir uh isme alag alag state ke alag alag honge na fir jo bhi ho nahi nahi i told the state the state ministry uh, don't don't confuse like okay the state ministry oh. state mein ek hi hoti hai uska state minister hota hai wahi usko dekhta hai aur सेम इट इज सेंट्रल पॉलिसी की वही सब कुछ लुक आउट करेगा ठीक है कोई प्रॉब्लम होगी बट आई एम आस्किंग द स्टेट हेल्थ डायरेक्टर कौन होते हैं किस कौन कौन होता है ओके ये कोई आउट ओके द मेन हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट द स्टेट स्टेट हेल्थ डायरेक्टर इज Uh, headed by civil surgeon so that is the importance of the civil surgeon if not coming into any like you can uh, in district hospital you can see na civil surgeon uh, casualty uh, uh, cmo uh, chief medical officer uh, another thing civil civil surgeon we remember this point very carefully civil surgeon now uh, in state is not a lot of things the basic things will start right now at the district level okay can you any tell me uh, what uh, like i told you that this is a subdivision tehsil community development block municipal anyone can tell me about the csc and psc last time i uh, i already told this thing anyone can tell me about the primary healthcare and secondary healthcare
okay in subdivisions in tehsils panchayat like uh, okay what, what we are looking about the at the at the village level it is a panchayat raj village level consists of three things gram sabha gram panchayat and nay panchayat Uh, and in panchayat raj there is a three things panchayat panchayat samiti and jila parishad in panchayat uh, in panchayat it is at the village level panchayat samiti it is a block level and jila parishad it is district level. are you get uh, are you aware about the, uh, such uh, words panchayat jila, panchayat samiti and jila parishad because so it is good about panchayat hmm. i think group of five people uh, in village who no, decide no, 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 like that nahi nahi aap jahan ja rahe ho nahi theek actually mein kya hai ki abhi isme isliye bata rahe hain kyunki aapka jo short questions aata hai wo aise aata hai ki what is panchayat raj okay so panchayat raj is structure of three things panchayat it is at the village level you just wrote and will get the mark because it's always is coming the short note what is the panchayat raj uh, what is the uh, at village level what uh, what is the three things consist uh, what is the three things consist into the village level and block level i will tell you later so in panchayat there three things panchayat panchayat is it is itself as a village level panchayat samiti it is a block because uh, in L you guys are aware about the election majid i'm sorry i'll get a call and in panchayat samiti it is at block level so uh, in our in in our development hierarchy there is a, a lot of things so something is at the village level then above that after the village there is a there is a make of block then after the block there is a make of jila parishad okay so three things is come into the panchayat raj सेम एट इज ए विलेज लेवल में थ्री थिंग्स हैं ग्राम सभा ग्राम पंचायत एंड न्याय पंचायत सर थर्ड वन इज ग्राम सभा ग्राम पंचायत एंड न्याय पंचायत ओके इन ग्राम सभा यू जस्ट रोट इज रोट डाउन what is the work of gram sabha like function is in simple way function so the in uh, abhi koi bol raha tha ki people are meeting uh, two or three people meeting in, in a year so yes sir hmm. so ye aata hai gram sabha mein gram sabha people of the gram sabha two or three persons they will meet together at least twice a year and they will uh, uh, they will discuss the problem of the village okay and then, then they will forward to the uh, higher level panchayat level so the different <coughs> you can wrote the, the exact line of the book gram sabha heading then uh, wrote it it is the assembly of all adults of the villages which me meets at least twice a year the gram sabha considered problem uh, the gram sabha considered uh, consider and discuss the problem of 
villages, uh, uh, health villages. And they will discuss the uh, problem, health issues of the village in a uh, panchayat, in, a, in gram panchayat, because it is a higher authority. And the second one is the gram panchayat. It is the executive or, uh, organ uh, of the gram panchayat or uh, organ body. It is the executive body of gram, gram sabha. and an agency for planning and development at the village level. One, one uh, like one gram panchayat is covered uh, uh, 15 to 30 villages. approximately 5,000 to 15,000 population. Sir, can you please uh, last line, uh, agency of the planning and? It is a executive agency of Gram Sabha. Uh, okay, and uh, sorry. It is an exclusive body of uh, Gram Sabha and agency for planning and deployment at the village level. So, one, one Gram Panchayat is covered 15 to 30 villages and approximately 5 to 15,000 population. So understood what, what is the oh, my, like importance of Gram Sabha, Gram Panchayat? Yes, sir. Okay, the, uh, just wrote it and I will explain more things. And Nair Panchayat is, uh, it was very old ages is coming like, uh, because you know, the, uh, there was a Sarpanches and some big people in the villages, they can sort out the problems in, in a short way. Okay. So that uh, like some, some state they have this uh, tradition right, uh, still right now, like Haryana, Punjab, and uh, some somewhere in Rajasthan also. So NAB panchayat doesn't have a lot of, uh, it doesn't matter with the health, but actually three things is coming into the panchayati raj, that's why they explain all the three things. So the actually, what is actually the problem is we are uh, always uh, studying in advance. So we are not we we will very not understanding the basics. Actually, when the hierarchy of our Indian uh, health system is made, it is very it is very quiet and nice because 
the policy maker which uh, policy maker uh, uh, the who make the policy of health of india they want to be uh, hierarchy like uh, step by step but actually what is right now <laughs> we are on from uh, from top to bottom uh, from bottom to top but right now uh, we are in the uh, to, uh, top to bottom because what they understood if our village is be neat and clean village people will be healthy then it is very uh, uh, like uh, country will be become healthy because our country is a uh, most of the india there is a villages in every in every state so they want to make a healthy uh, villages to ensure that if the village is healthy then district will be healthy if the district will be healthy then state will be healthy so that's why they make the system if there is the uh, csc or psc in a in a state in a r sub centers in villages so people directly come to first to come this uh, sub center for uh, for treatment then if the sub uh, sub centers they want to recommend the people for higher center then people will go to the higher center and uh, then they will go to the for csc like uh, medical colleges or some district uh, district hospital actually they copy from the uh, 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 like country from like russia uh, europe and others but unfortunately uh, in india we didn't uh, adopt this behavior because other countries they be, uh, they uh, they always doing like that uh, for example in uh, in delhi is going on mohalla clinics now right now so if the uh, local people ill they can go to the mohalla clinic in uh, in other countries uh, foreign countries they, they have the source if the person is it they have area wise uh, clinics patient have must have to go the higher center will not entertain him if the lower uh, like the uh, um, district level or state level written if this person is should be recommended for uh, need higher uh, treatment from higher center they they will uh, they will uh, tell them go back and go to your doctor and uh, please uh, Uh, uh make a note from uh, from his or her side if the, the patient is uh, not manageable at the level of district level so he need um, the treatment at the state level like uh, in higher center for example uh, in india we have aims sabdarjang and all those uh, big hospitals hum log india mein actually mein ye follow nahi karte isliye hospitals mein itni dher sara itni dher sari bheed se agar choti choti cheeze niche se follow up hote hain to itni bheed nahi ho but unfortunately we are not following theek hai and at the block level kya hota hai block level the block level consider about uh, same thing is comes block level mein 100 villages aayenge ya ye difference uh, must be remember as written uh, when it is asked ki uh, please write about the block level what is the block level तो ब्लॉक लेवल में हंड्रेड विलेज कंसिडर हंड्रेड हंड्रेड विलेजेस पॉपुलेशन एट्टी थाउजेंड टू वन ट्वेंटी वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड द मेन द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द ब्लॉक लेवल इट इज community development program at the block level and district uh, third one is the district level in district level uh, at least 40 to 70 villages is covered how many sir 40 to 
and district level the, there is a uh, government officer who, who is district health officer and district family planning Anyone have the question paper? Hello? Uh, no, sir, I don't have. No. You can check it on. Is there any group? Is there? Uh, because I would like to. So, one question is coming in the, uh, either long form, either short form. Okay. What is the health system in India? Okay, so in all the in long question, you should have to write these things at the center level, at the state level, at the district level. These things, okay. And there is also uh, last time actually very few people though. So this time I I am repeating uh, the top uh, this thing. You also wrote it this. Are you here about the uh, health planning committees in India? Anyone any idea about the committee in India? Hello. Hello, sir. Any anyone uh, have idea about the community in India? Um, no, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, I think one of the committees, board committee, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. There is a committee, board committee. Okay, I'm sharing again. Last time there was a few students, and today is a more. So, I the uh, last time lecture I'm uh, just I'm repeating because the, the last time I gave a very important note for you guys, which is very helpful for exam and for your uh, uh, like uh, in at the time of hospitals also. So you can uh, just make this table which I'm sharing right now, and I will elaborate it. Uh, later, please check your WhatsApp. No WhatsApp group. Everyone get the table? Hello? Yes, sir. Get it? 
if you wanna you can rotate if you don't want you can just keep it a photo in uh, in your um, phone or uh, or somewhere because in exam this such question is coming very far very very frequently and it is just for uh, if you make the, what is they are they are asking what is the difference between the health care and health system okay so in healthcare characteristics may there is a five uh, this point is coming there is a appropriate comprehensiveness adequacy availability accessibility affordability and feasibility so uh, if you want to be some uh, a healthcare so they uh, it should be like appropriate it should be appropriation or like comprehensive hona chahiye and then it is also or available available for uh, uh, everyone acceptable for everyone affordable for everyone and like uh, feasible for everyone for example if the government make a policy which is uh, not in a proper way affordable matlab it should be reach out for the people you know, for every person uh, so healthcare uh, in healthcare characteristics if the make any any healthcare policy or health care program it should be always available accessible and affordable for the people because if the, uh, the uh, such thing is not happen what is the what is the purpose of the program okay hello hello yes sir yes sir are you are you guys getting it or not if not then i will explain more because this is the common things which you should have to understand in at the preventive medicine because always the question is coming either uh, when you are work in a hospital they will ask the, uh, those things either if you will go for some programs either you will go for uh, some research centers so they will ask because in india we are not following what is in the book uh, i am clearly telling you but at critical they want to everything as per norm okay so there is they will ask what is what is the uh, 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 healthcare system if you want to make a healthcare system what is the function what is the main thing of that so if the, for example uh, you are a person who is a programmer you make a program for uh, for healthcare system so uh, for uh, for uh, when you present this program in this program you should have to tell na ki, what is your aim how how will reach the people and money money matter is too much how uh, in like uh, in small am uh, amount of expenditure of expenditure of money how you will uh, reach your program to many people so th uh, this thing is uh, very important for the preventive medicines and making the programs in india and what is the health component health component always health component means about uh, if you are making a program what is the concept of the program what you what concept means what you will got going to achieve with this program for example if there is a tb tb elimination program hiv elimination program i either dengo elimination program uh, uh, this uh, uh, vector borne diseases program is distributed so what is the main uh concept of that what, what you would like to achieve it like for example for uh, for tuberculosis we make a program to uh, um, eliminate tb from our society so that is our main aim for the uh, program and how it is going to effect is going uh, and after that effectiveness is come after when you run the program because you should have to uh, take the feedback is it is the program is effective or not like if you are giving the treatment of the uh, tuberculosis patient if they are not getting treated then what is the purpose for the uh, for this program so that program is going to lack and the third one is object i already told you and the person provided like up kis mein uh, in which kind of the population you want to be this uh, this program Yeah. Uh -huh. 
anyone aware all, all of you aware about the psc and csc and sub centers okay write down about the sub centers first you can write about the sub centers what is the sub -centers? what is sub center because a, a sub uh, in short question is coming uh, please write a note on sub center please write a note on a primary health care center please write a note on uh, community health center so uh, just three main things i would like to explain and give you some uh, tables you can just remember for uh, uh, this tables first one is the sub center <clears throat> sub center is at the village level okay first thing the second uh, the second thing is in sub centers all facility is, is available except uh, okay in sub center there is a two types type a and type b uh, the table i am sharing right now with their staff what is the functions everyone get the uh, table of sub center yes sir yes okay. sir okay in there what, what is the difference between the sub center a and sub center b in sub center a there uh, there is a uh, uh, all facility is available in the sub center except uh, in type a except conducting delivery but in type b uh, the del delivery is possible it is the only general uh, uh, difference between sub center a and sub center b. if the question is came in four line uh, 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 in short note now you can write the sub center about it. just wrote it sub center is at the village level there are the two type of the sub centers type a and type b if you remember this table you can make it either just <clears throat> just do one remember uh, remember the staffing like uh, in uh, 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 staff like uh, like health worker female recommend uh, in sub center one recommended one and two recommended uh, sub center b why recommended two in sub center b hello anyone can answer why why it is why it required uh, two female health workers are a and m at the sub center b sir all facilities is available including delivery so if one is uh, called deliver so pregnant no uh, you are uh, you are right in simple way the delivery is conducting so the female is required uh, that's why one more uh, you can in your uh, own language you can go to it now a, like if you want to uh, wrote 10 12 uh, 10, uh, 7 to 8 lines for uh, short note so first thing what is uh, the, in short note is coming uh, describe the uh, sub center in sub center there is a two type of the sub center type 1 and type 2 uh, type a and type b in type a all facilities available except the uh, delivery in type b the delivery is um, uh, 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 can be conducted uh, in staffing if you make this table the examiner will give the full mark because he will understand you know in staffing you will not remove this table just <clears throat> just wrote it See, there is a requirement to two <clears throat> female workers to two female health workers due to the only because the uh, delivery is conducted in the sub center <clears throat> otherwise uh, uh, all number of staffing is same in sub center that's uh, uh, the second one is the primary health care center this is a very most important topic um, uh, for your all uh, two uh, all semesters one question will get from this side from the healthcare system of india there is a very very important question either it's come into the short note either it's come into the long note in the long note if come it will come like that level of health uh, what is the healthcare in india in long question they will uh, give give you the question like that 
please describe the health uh, what uh, healthcare in india last lecture i described this healthcare of india i will again when i will get uh, uh, when we will i will repeat i will again give the uh, description of the healthcare in india with this question if the if it come in the long question it will come with the uh, second question uh, please describe the levels of the healthcare levels in india either they will ask please describe csc and psc uh, and sub centers in india so uh, this is very important primary healthcare in uh, anyone can tell me what is the primary health care in india what to understand about the primary health care please fast primary health care in india any idea no sir acha ek koi doctor sahab se kahan gaye unhe to pata hoga shivam to duty pe hai to usko bhi okay uh, for primary health of india i am sharing a table you just uh, please okay write down about the primary health care uh, did you get the table yes sir okay. write down the element public component of primary health care Uh, just wrote element. Uh, I am telling you the. You can just wrote it in ele element in a row. Like first word is E, second one is L, third letter is E. You element you can wrote it in. Actually, I am telling you the mnemonics of this uh, element. So it starts come by uh, with element. Okay. first uh, letter wrote down e then second letter in the second line l then third letter is e fourth letter is m fifth letter is e sixth letter uh, sixth letter is n then t and s in primary healthcare you have written the elements or component 
हेलो यस सर वेर यू रोड ना एलिमेंट एंड कंपोनेंट इन ब्रैकेट यू आल्सो रोट इट अल्मा ए एल एम अल्मा डैश ए टी ए आटा in heading one not in abbreviation not in abbreviation i will tell you if where is your wrote the na element oblique component in bracket you can uh, wrote it alma ata declaration because sometime uh, the question is came please describe the alma ata declaration what is alma ata declaration i will tell you actually alma ata is a place in russia where the uh there, uh there is a uh, who council was held uh, in 1978 where they discussed uh, uh, for the element of the primary healthcare so that's why that's why it's called the elements of primary healthcare in uh, uh, in element first t is the, uh, uh, is denominate education concerning health problem and their control the second letter is l is l for it is locally endemic disease prevention and control i will i will explain the thing just you write it the third is e for essential drug m for mental and child health care including family planning then e for epi immunization against vaccine prevention disease and for nutrition and promoting pro, uh, proper food supply t for treatment of common disease and injuries as for safe water supply and sanitation is there any confusion sir please repeat from the first one elimen e for first e for education concerning health program and their control education concerning health, health program. program and their, i'll explain the line by line just while first it wrote it what does it mean mm -hmm. l for locally endemic disease prevention and control e for essential drugs then m for maternal and child health care including family planning and then e for epi immunization against vaccination prevention disease preventable disease then n for nutrition and promoting proper food supply t for treatment of common disease and injuries s for safe water supply and sanitation so just listen to me actually in 1978 There is a WHO council was held at uh, Almaty. Uh, actually, the city name is Almaty. It is uh, in Russia. So uh, the WHO council member they discuss what what should be the main aim of our primary health care system. What should uh, what uh, what is the functioning of uh, what should the function of the primary health care system. So just they make uh, some uh, elements. 
which should be uh, held at the primary health care system first was is the education concerning health from program and their control health education is very important and it is not possible for state ministry to uh, like send for if the some program is came it is very uh, not possible for central government to reach their program to the uh, villages level so that's why uh, the panel decided ki, uh, if there is a some edu uh, health education program, program is aborted in our country this program should be uh, uh, tell to our uh, village people by the primary health center uh, uh, people uh, who is working on the primary health uh, care center education what one is about the health program uh, problems and their control like we make a program uh, uh, very popular program tb awareness program aids awareness program cervical cancer awareness program so uh like uh, i i gave you the table na so there is a medical officer there is some uh, workers uh, whose work is decided they should have to uh, go uh, to the uh, village people and they describe please uh, uh, don't do like for tuberculosis we already explained uh, uh, like uh, uh, cervical cancer so in village uh, females cervical cancer is very common so they are camping for a cervical uh, 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 test for the cervical camp either tuberculosis screening for tuberculosis uh, chest x ray uh, uh, chest x ray is not sorry sputum collection and then they they will send the sample to the higher center for screening so uh, the primary center member the uh, uh, person who is working on that uh, in primary center they should have to explain the, the uh, all all programs which is coming from the center or state government to the villages for their awareness and uh, uh, second is the locally endemic disease prevention and control what is the difference between the endemic and pandemic anyone please what is the difference between the endemic disease and pandemic disease anyone can difference anyone can please okay corona was pandemic or endemic sir pandemic why why pandemic because it came from the other country if the disease is spreaded from the out of country it is called pandemic okay if the disease is uh, uh, in local uh, in local area or same is there is a one difference i uh, i will tell you later so uh, the corona was pandemic without it came from the global okay from the outside endemic disease which is from the local places uh, you heard about the plague in the uh, old centuries there is a plague was very common in india Huh? Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. And uh, the best example is dengue. They, if the dengue is, is some uh, is uh, if or uh, not not dengue, food poisoning. So if some there is a, some food poisoning, okay. If some village, some one village, two village people getting uh, diarrhea, vomiting, and uh, dehydration, so they will get. Uh, the problem uh, it is called it is a local disease problem uh, it is a endemic disease okay so what is the most comparable uh, treatment of uh, diarrhea uh, and uh, this uh, this okay um, diarrhea what is the most primitive met uh, local method of uh, control of diarrhea ors okay ors either just common in uh, you can make it at home with your lemon and uh, some sugar and water okay so psc people doctor and some other staff they will go they will make a camp uh, to uh, like uh, to the villages to explain these things if some if my uh, unfortunately diarrhea is came to so what we will do you should have to drink 
safe water and uh, lemon water because medicine is very uh, not possible for everyone for the villages na either if there is a dengue they will go and tell please uh, avoid the collection of water in in a place I, they will dis right now actually uh, very awareness uh, that's why it's uh, it, this thing anti malaria or uh, anti dengue uh, uh, distribution is in places so the thing is they should have to tell uh, local endemic and prevention they they will prevent the local disease and control it third one is the essential drug uh, what does it mean by the essential drug what is the essential drug okay at the psc level we will cap the essential level actually the uh, drugs which coming for uh, like tuberculosis tuberculosis hiv a, 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 hiv drugs essential drug is not your uh, please don't think like it is a normal drug paracetamol and other those will be there it should be there because it is it is a primary health care center but here essential means uh, tuberculosis aids and this one your dog bite uh, when uh, vaccination and the third one is the maternal and child health care including family planning what do you understand by this maternal and child health care including family planning Ah, anyone can tell me maternal and ch uh, child health care. Okay, maternal child health care means maternal means for it is okay, uh, it, the word is for the uh, married women and basically for the pre pregnant women. and child is uh, child care means neonatal care so in india uh, in india actually institutional delivery delivery is very low in our uh, villages or uh, most of the deliveries is uh, happening in uh, at home so uh, at the time of pregnancy uh, this psc people they, they will visit they will find out which lady is pregnant in uh, uh, in a village how many uh, they will visit the pregnant lady and they will explain to the uh, uh, they will explain to the uh, pregnant lady what is the what should she care okay what she will do what she uh, what she uh, will not do so uh, for care of uh, her and child health in uh, child health care it is actually post uh, delivery uh, like example uh, in uh, villages very important the people are giving after the birth uh, they will uh, give the honey and those things so this is contraindicated for the um, born child uh, uh, this um, honey and those all other things so they will educate them please just try, uh, uh, try, uh, try to uh, normal feeding of the child child care and if the child have any uh, like they will look the child is there any uh, congenital diseases I, uh, either it is uh, some uh, there is some what called it a child is okay or not if some there is required some medical facility they will they will to the child to the uh, they will refer to the child to the higher center for their treatment and uh, e for immunization vaccination you know uh, all kind of the vaccination is done by the psc level like uh, a polio vaccination bcg vaccination and all the pro all the vaccination program program is run by psc nutrition and promoting the proper food supply 
nutrition means like uh, the uh, you know uh, in india there is the uh, mid day meal is uh, running on for nutrition so yes. this this uh, this program also should be uh, watched out by the psc people and uh, the uh, treatment of common disease and disease yes it is possible uh, uh, like uh, if there is a fever some cutting disease or something so this also be treated by primary care center and the uh, last one is the safe water supply and sanitary so actually in, in uh, as per norms as per indian recommendation this <clears throat> water uh, safe water supply and sanitation work should be monitored by the psc their work their work is not to provide the supply uh, supply of water and, uh, and to look out their work is to look out does the people are uh, the, does the people of uh, villages they are getting the safe water or not uh, like uh, in india after after 2014 uh, many uh, many villages is free from outside defecation so right now ods is uh, ods so there it is there was you know you saw the panchayat part 2 where there is panchayat part 2 who 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 kitne dekhi hai yes sir dekhi hai dekhi hai na so usme जो वो एक्चुअली मैं मैं इसलिए एग्जांपल बता रहा हूँ एग्जैक्ट अगर तुम्हें सीन आ रहा है ये जो जिला कलेक्ट्रेट बार बार उसको मतलब आउटसाइड डेफिकेशन नहीं होनी चाहिए उसके लिए लुकआउट करती है ना तो वो इसी इसीलिए होता है ठीक है कि उन्हीं का पीएससी के ही थ्रू आते हैं उसका काम होता है कि ये सब नहीं होना चाहिए और पीपल को वाटर सप्लाई जो है सेफ मिलना चाहिए ये तो है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर के एलिमेंट्स हो गए देर इज अ फोर हॉल मार्क ऑफ प्राइमरी प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर प्लीज राइट इट एफोर्डेबिलिटी एक्सेबिलिटी एसेसिबिलिटी एंड अवेलेबिलिटी Wrote it. So fourth one is availability. So four A's are na. In this, your healthcare characteristics are availability, accessibility, affordability. No, sorry. Sorry. First one is the affordability. Second one is the accessibility. Third one is the accessibility. Fourth one is the availability. so it it mean primary health care should be affordable for ev everyone everyone should have to accept the primary health care accessibility like if something required it uh, like for example if required paracetamol it should be at the psc level so that is called accessibility matlab medicine ka wahan pe accessibility honi chahiye availability means uh, yes abhi primary health केयर पी एस सीज बहुत कम हो गए हैं मतलब देर ड्यू टू दूज पीपल आर नॉट यूजिंग द पी एस सी बट पी एस सी शुड बी अवेलेबल फॉर एवरी नियर बाई एवरी विलेज एंड देर इज द फोर प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर first one is equitable distribution second one is community participation third one is 
इंटर कोस्टल कोऑर्डिनेशन फोर्थ वन इज अप्रोप्रिएट टेक्नोलॉजी please repeat sir four principles of psc appropriate technology then write down please the function of primary health care फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज मेडिकल केयर द सेकंड इज सेम फैमिली प्लानिंग केयर थर्ड वन इज सेफ वाटर सप्लाई एंड सैनिटेशन इट इज अ कंपोनेंट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ओके लोकल एंडेमिक डिजीज प्रिवेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल fourth one is collection and reporting of vital static next one is education concerning health next is national health program next is referral services next is training of health services next is basic laboratory services सर फोर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पी के पहले जो आपने बताया था एफोर्डेबिलिटी एक्सेसिबिलिटी उसमें हेडिंग उसका जो हेडिंग है वो क्या है हॉलमार्क ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ हॉलमार्क ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर You wrote down the functions of primary health care. Yes, sir. Understood. Uh, at this point, or anything you want to discuss, just tell me. I will elaborate because. I am asking from everyone. सर थोड़ी सी कंफ्यूजन है यहाँ पे डिस्ट्रिक्ट जब आपने स्टेट लेवल का बताया था वहाँ पे विलेज लेवल में आता है ग्राम सभा ग्राम पंचायत एंड न्याय पंचायत और पंचायत लेवल पे आता है पंचायती राज्य में आता है ग्राम सभा पंचायती राज में आएगा पंचायत देन पंचायती समिति एंड जिला परिषद
तरीके से ओके ओके रोट डाउन द हेडिंग लेवल ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम इन इंडिया दिव्या हेलो यस सर डिफरेंस समझ में आ रहा है समय अभी हमने हेल्थ लेवल इन इंडिया पढ़ा ठीक है दैट इज द लेवल आपका कौन कौन से पे क्या क्या होते उसमें तीन है ठीक है लाइक लेवल्स इन द मेन हेल्थ सिस्टम इन इंडिया तो हेल्थ सिस्टम इन इंडिया थ्री लेवल्स में मतलब सेंट्रल लेवल पे है स्टेट लेवल पे है तो तो मेन ये हो गए ठीक है तीसरा है डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल ठीक है स्टेट लेवल में हमने ये पढ़ा कि हेल्थ यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री होती है और डायरेक्टर जनरल होते हैं उसमें सेंट्रल काउंसिल ऑफ हेल्थ होती है तीनों का छोटा छोटा फंक्शन पढ़ लिया कि हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री हेल्थ जो हेल्थ काउंसिल है वो सॉरी मिनिस्ट्री है वो कंट्रोल होती है होम मिनिस्ट्री के बाद उसका सारा काम है वो करना ठीक है डायरेक्टर जनरल जो होते हैं वो बेसिकली सर्विसेज को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करने में उनका मेन काम है सेंट्रल काउंसिल का काम है अगर कोई पॉलिसी आती है और आ, उसको लीगलाइजेशन उसको बना करके कैबिनेट को भेजना ताकि वो वहाँ से अप्रूवल आए तो इट विल बी अप्लीकेबल फॉर द कंट्री थर्ड लेवल हमने पढ़ा स्टेट लेवल ठीक है स्टेट लेवल में सेम है स्टेट मिनिस्ट्री है हेल्थ डायरेक्टर्स है कंसर्न ऑलमोस्ट सबके सेम है तीसरा हमने पढ़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल से ठीक है That is the, it is, ये हो गए आपके लेवल्स ठीक है कि क्यों कौन इंडिया में हेल्थ yes, सिस्टम uh, का क्या लेवल है उसके बाद अब नेक्स्ट जो आएगा ये क्वेश्चन आपका आता है हेल्थ केयर एंड सिस्टम ये डिफरेंट हेडिंग है हेल्थ केयर में सबसे पहले आता है आपका प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर ठीक है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर में okay. मैंने आपको सारा चीजें डिस्क्राइब कर दिया उसके फंक्शन क्या है मेन उसके हाल मार्क्स क्या है क्या उसका कॉम्पोनेंट है ठीक है अभी नेक्स्ट जो हेडिंग है हाँ कंटिन्यू सर सब सेंटर सब सेंटर भी इसमें ही आता है ना हेल्थ केयर एंड सिस्टम हम्म हेल्थ केयर में ही आएगा सबसे पहले एक्चुअली में वो थोड़ा बाद में बताना था चलिए सब सेंटर थोड़ा शॉर्ट था इसलिए मैंने पहले बता दिया वो उसी में आएगा हेल्थ केयर में ही आएगा ठीक है अब हेल्थ केयर के अंदर नेक्स्ट आपका एक चार लाइन मतलब शॉर्ट नोट में आता है लेवल्स ऑफ प्राइमरी अब हम प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर के लेवल पर अभी तक हम हेल्थ केयर लेवल ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया में थे ठीक है इंडिया से वो हमारा स्टेट और डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज हो गया उसके बाद हमने प्राइमरी हेल्थ सिस्टम पढ़ा कि इंडिया में हेल्थ केयर का क्या सिस्टम है ठीक है तो उसमें सबसे पहले आता है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर ठीक है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर में उसके फंक्शंस हो गए उसके डिफिनेशन हो गई क्या उसका मेन काम है ठीक है अब Yes, अभी जो है कंफ्यूज मत करना लेवल ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर एंड लेवल्स ऑफ हेल्थ केयर ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है दोनों ही बहुत डिफरेंट yes. मतलब और क्वेश्चन ऐसे ही आते हैं जा, वो जब जा, आपको ऑप्शन आता है ना वहाँ पे तो वहाँ पे वो चार लाइन के क्वेश्चन में ये भी लिख देते हैं कि डिस्क्राइब द लाइक लेवल्स हेल्थ केयर लेवल्स ऑफ हेल्थ केयर इन इंडिया ठीक है और वो ये भी पूछ लेंगे प्लीज डिस्क्राइब द लेवल्स ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर तो वो ये कंफ्यूज नहीं होना कि दोनों तो सेम क्वेश्चन है मैं क्या लिखूं अभी जो मैं लिखा रहा हूं वो लेवल्स ऑफ द प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर में तीन है ठीक है प्राइमरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर एंड थर्डरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर ओके ठीक है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर पूरा हेडिंग देखो प्राइमरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर में क्या आता है वट इज मतलब डिफिनेशन ओके सर primary health it is the first level of contact between population and healthcare system in india
प्लीज रिपीट सर डिफिनेशन है इसकी फर्स्ट लेवल ऑफ कांटेक्ट बिटवीन द पॉपुलेशन एंड हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम इसके इसके टू हेल्थ सर्विस प्राइमरी लेवल प्राइमरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर डिलीवर्ड बाई टू थिंग फर्स्ट वन सब सेंटर सेकेंड वन इज द प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर ओके तो मैंने सब सेंटर भी आपको बता दिया प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर भी बता दिया ठीक है सेकेंड वन इज द सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर डिफिनेशन इसकी फर्स्ट रेफरल लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर हेल्थ सर्विसेज इज डिलीवर्ड बाय कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर यस सर देन ट्राइटरी लेवल ऑफ ट्राइटरी लेवल ऑफ हेल्थ केयर is the second refer refer level of healthcare yes health services are delivered through मेडिकल कॉलेजेस एंड हॉस्पिटल ओके अंडरस्टूड दिस अब 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 थोड़ा थोड़ा क्लियर हुआ ना चीजें क्या क्या डिफरेंसेस हैं किस चीज के लिए क्या है किस चीज के लिए क्या है क्योंकि अभी तक आ, क्या होता है कि हम मतलब जब तक पढ़ते नहीं है सब मर्द ऐसे चलता है कि ये तो हॉस्पिटल ऐसी है मतलब डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल का हॉस्पिटल इसलिए है कौन सा किस चीज के लिए है क्या सिस्टम इंडिया में बनाया गया आई थिंक मतलब थोड़ा क्लियर हो गया होगा आपके माइंड क्लियर हो गया किस चीज के लिए क्या क्या है yes, आपको सब सेंटर बता दिया अच्छा हाँ एक चीज ना टेबल टेबल आप ना देखिए ये टेबल जो मैंने शेयर किया था प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर के लिए पहला वाला टेबल ठीक है टाइप ऑफ टाइप ए टाइप बी पी एस सी ठीक है हेलो यस सर इसमें ना ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेशन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड में नहीं रहिएगा इसमें सिर्फ आपको अगर याद रहता है तो ठीक है एग्जाम में अगर लिख सकते हो तो लिख देना कि जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेडिकल uh, ऑफिसर कितने जरूरत है क्योंकि ये इसका बाद में दिक्कत ये है कि बाद में इसको सेकेंडरी लेवल से जब कंपेयर करते हैं तब ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंस होता है अदरवाइज याद रखिए कि मेडिकल ऑफिसर एम बी बी में एक ही चाहिए टाइप ए टाइप भी छोड़ दीजिए मतलब फॉर हायर लेवल वो जरूरत नहीं है उसकी ठीक है आयुष्मान का आयुष मेडिकल ऑफिसर एक होना चाहिए ठीक है और जो अकाउंटेंट कम डाटा एंट्री ऑपरेटर एक एक होना चाहिए फार्मासिस्ट आयुष में आयुष्मान का एक होना चाहिए नर्स मिडवाइफ ये एक्चुअली में मेन डिफरेंस यहीं पे आता है नर, कितनी नर्स स्टाफ नर्स कितने कितने हैं तो बस टाइप ए में तीन है टाइप बी में फोर है ठीक है बाकी ऑलमोस्ट सारे स्टाफिंग एक्चुअली में ये एम के हिसाब से ज्यादा पूछते हैं 
आप मोटा मोटा याद रखिए कि कि क्या क्या जरूरत होती है पीएससी में किस कौन कौन रहता है मेडिकल ऑफिसर रहता है अकाउंट मेडिकल ऑफिसर एमबीबीएस है आयुष का है ऑपरेटर है फार्मासिस्ट है ठीक है फार्मासिस्ट आयुष भी है नर्सिंग मिडवाइफ ये तीन होनी चाहिए टाइप बी में फोर होने चाहिए हेल्थ वर्कर फीमेल मेल एक्चुअली में ये हम बाद में पढ़ेंगे कि हेल्थ वर्कर क्या है क्योंकि ये दूसरा टॉपिक है और ठीक है पहले ये सिस्टम खत्म हो जाए हेल्थ केयर खत्म हो जाए फिर आगे बताएंगे इसका और हेल्थ असिस्टेंट कितने चाहिए हेल्थ असिस्टेंट फीमेल कितने चाहिए ठीक है okay, तो स्टाफिंग ऐसा मैंने सिर्फ ये कि एक रफ आइडिया होनी चाहिए कि अगर लिख सकते हो तो एग्जाम में लिख देना अदरवाइज प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर पे आपका यही क्वेश्चन आता है आ, बहुत केयरफुली इसमें से तीन क्वेश्चन बनते हैं मैं बता देता हूँ फर्स्ट आपको अगर शॉर्ट में पूछेगा तो पूछेगा डिस्क्राइब द प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर ठीक है yes, उसमें उसमें आपको ज्यादा टाइम ना गवा करके सिर्फ यही लिखना है डिफिनेशन लिखनी है ठीक है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर के चारों हाल मार्क और चार प्रिंसिपल के पेयर लिख के छोड़ देना है क्योंकि उस चार मार्क्स में इससे ज्यादा लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है वही क्वेश्चन अगर आपका डिटेलिंग में आ गया कि प्लीज एलिबरेट द प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम इन इंडिया ठीक है अब यहाँ पे आपको पूरा लिखना पड़ेगा प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर के अच्छा दूसरा शॉर्ट में दूसरा क्वेश्चन आता है प्लीज डिस्क्राइब द अल्माटा डिक्लेरेशन वो ये नहीं पूछेगा कंपोनेंट एलिमेंट एंड डिस्ट थिंग प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर का ठीक है क्योंकि एग्जाम में भी कंफ्यूज करना था तो इसलिए मैंने हेडिंग डलवाई थी कि जो एलिमेंट और कंपोनेंट है उसी को ब्रैकेट में ये भी लिख लेना इसको बोलते हैं अल्माटा डिक्लेरेशन चार नंबर में आता है तो इस अल्माटा डिक्लेरेशन में ये एलिमेंट वाले जो चारों चीजें हैं वैसे ये इजी जरूरी नहीं कि आप एलिमेंट करके ही लिखें पर दो तीन बार पढ़ेंगे अंडरस्टैंडिंग करेंगे समझ में आ जाएगा कि क्या क्या मतलब प्राइमरी केयर हेल्थ केयर सेंटर क्या क्या चीजें होनी चाहिए ठीक है चौथा शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन पूछता है फंक्शन ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर ठीक है पांचवा शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन होता है मतलब इसी में से पांचवा शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन बन सकता है लेवल ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम ठीक है या ओनली डिस्क्राइब द सब सेंटर अगर आपका इसमें पूछता है पूरा एलोबरेट कर पूरा पूछता है सब कुछ लिखना है जो मैंने जो एक टेबल दिया है प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर क्या है उसके एलिमेंट क्या है उसका हाल मतलब हॉलमार्क्स क्या है प्रिंसिपल्स क्या है एलिमेंट क्या है उसका फंक्शन वो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है रिपीट हो रहा है इट्स ओके बट थेटिकल एग्जाम यू शुड हैव टू राइट समथिंग ना तो आप हेडिंग डाल के लिख दीजिए फंक्शन फंक्शन ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर वही मेडिकल केयर फैमिली प्लानिंग सेफ वाटर सप्लाई लोकल एंड डजेंट मैटर इट्स ओके उसके बाद आपको या आपको ये भी लिखना है इसमें प्राइमरी लेवल्स ऑफ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम में कौन कौन सा है प्राइमरी में क्या होता है सेकेंडरी में क्या है टर्टरी में क्या है ओके 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 नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर सीएससी ओके ओके सीएससी के बाद एक्चुअली में आई विल ट्राई टू नेक्स्ट वीक गेट द क्वेश्चन पेपर ठीक है any question anything you can write me on the whatsapp okay, okay. no problem so i think today we can complete it the because if i'll start the next topic you will be take more time so i have next class also and very few people is left over here it's okay we are if you uh, when you get the admission divya uh, sir uh, one or two months ago Okay. You are you are working, yeah? Yes, sir. Currently working in AIMS. Delhi. Yes, sir. Delhi AIMS. Delhi AIMS. Okay. Yes, sir. Then why you didn't apply uh, MSA from AIMS? AIMS में भी तो MSA होता है. Sir, but वहाँ पे बहुत long procedures and. Uh, बहुत कुछ और मैंने बीएससी करने के बाद जूनियर का गैप लिया था तो ठीक है अगर फ्री रहे नेक्स्ट मैं तो ट्राई आई ट्राई टू माय सेल्फ बी फ्री तो देखते हैं अगर टाइम रहेगा तो फिर लेक्चर लो क्योंकि देखो आता सब कुछ है ठीक है बट मेन चीज है एग्जाम में क्योंकि एग्जाम बहुत ही एम का एग्जाम बहुत ही लेंदी है ठीक है मतलब पेपर जो है ना और फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर जो है पूरा इसी प्रिवेंटिव मेडिसिन से सेकंड में जाकर के आपको थोड़ा बहुत फाइनेंस और वो सब की इतनी जरूरत पड़ती है बट 
अगर आपका ये अभी बेसिक वाला फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वो फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर अगर आपने अच्छे से कर लिया प्रिवेंटिव मेडिसिन क्योंकि इसी से चार सब्जेक्ट हैं आपके इसी से चार सब्जेक्ट हैं फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में एक ही बुक एक, एक ही सब्जेक्ट से प्रिवेंटिव मेडिसिन से चार पेपर आएंगे आप चार पेपर बनेंगे ठीक है उसका टॉपिक अलग अलग है बट जैसे एक बायोस्टेटिक्स का पेपर होगा आपका है ना बायोस्टेटिक्स भी मैं बता दूंगा वो यहीं से बताऊंगा क्या नाम है आपका प्रिवेंटिव मेडिसिन का ही पार्ट है वो और और भी दो तीन थे तो इसलिए इसको बहुत बेसिक बना के चलना ताकि फिर लास्ट सेमेस्टर तक आपको क्वेश्चंस क्योंकि इससे क्वेश्चन आते ही रहेंगे आप हर सेमेस्टर में आपको इसका काम मिलेगा ठीक है चलिए देखते हैं नेक्स्ट टाइम कोई और ज्वाइन करेगा ठीक है अदरवाइज मैं नोट्स आपको दे दूंगा क्योंकि ये नोट में थोड़ा डिफरेंट मतलब अपने कुछ नोट्स और कुछ बुक्स सब मिक्स करके बता रहा हूँ ठीक है